welcome back to my habitat. Today I'm going to be deadheading a bunch of perennials. I'll be telling you what they are as I go along and showing you exactly how I do it. So let's get started off with their heads. Number one, Dianthus. So this one is pretty easy to cut back. You just grab all the flower heads at once and give it a nice quick snip. Now I got to this pretty late. As I've said in other videos, I've been pretty busy this year. So some of these chores have been kind of forgotten about, but they also are ridiculously easy to do. And it might look like I'm taking a lot off this plant. I'm not, it will be fine. And if you do this early enough, which I don't think I did, you may even get another flush of blooms. Say hi, Hallie. <laughs> These are daffodils. Now, the moment they start kind of turning brown, like this one's starting to turn still green at the base, I will still cut this back. This one's pretty much completely brown, just right to the ground, just like so. Vogelweed came up with beautiful blue flowers. You can still see a little bit there, kind of purpley blue. Um, Hallie loved this. My dog just rested on this all the time. I have so many photos of it. It's so freaking cute. Really easy to cut them back though. Just kind of like the Dianthus, you just kind of take the flower seed heads and you cut them right back. Now, because I have so much, I'm gonna do a quick time lapse here. I have two patches of this to clean up. Easter flower, really easy one, just beneath the leaf canopy, snip back the long stem, and just go to town, deadheading them. I like to leave these for as long as I can, but the little white seed pods are starting to fall apart, so they're not gonna look good too much longer, so I'm just gonna deal with them right now. I have a beautiful columbine here. Same thing like the rest of really everything. I'm just gonna go beneath the leaf canopy and cut these beautiful seed heads back. You can leave them. I find them really pretty, but they also spread in your garden. So if you don't want them to spread, cut them back. It's finally time to cut back the alliums. I've been dreading this because I love the structure of these but they're getting really dried out. And if I want to save them to bring them inside, I should get to cutting them back right now. So really, really simple. Well, this one is really simple. It literally has come out pretty much of the ground already. And I'm just gonna clean up the end here by snipping it off. But you can bring these in, use them as a bouquet. You know, I think just the three of them on their own would be really pretty. Add them to other dried flowers or even to other live flowers. They're beautiful. The other one, even more simple. And I can't forget the smaller ones as well. I would like to thank you guys for watching. Also, grow alliums because not only do you get a beautiful spring flower, but you get these things. Probably going to be pretending that I'm Harry Potter for like the rest of the day. But with that being said, hit that subscribe button and <laughs> come back next week. Till next time though, continue gardening and having fun outside. Bye guys.